on the lone, bleak moor, at the midnight hour beneath the gallows tree. Hand in hand the murderers stand, by one, by two, by three. And the moon that night, with a gray, cold light, each baleful object tips. One half of her form is seen through the storm, the other half's hid in the eclipse. And the cold wind howls, and the thunder growls, and the lightning is broad and bright, and altogether it's very bad weather, and an unpleasant sort of night. Oh, tis a fearful thing to be no more, or if to be, to wander after death, to walk as spirits do in breaks all day, and when the darkness comes, to glide in paths that lead to graves, and in the silent vault where lies your own pale shroud, to hover over it, striving to enter your forbidden corpse, and often, often vainly breathe your ghost into your lifeless lips. Next died the lady who Yon Hall possessed, and here they brought her noble bones to rest. In town she dwelt, forsaken stood the hall, worms ate the floors, the tapestry fled the wall, no fire the kitchen's cheerless grate displayed, no cheerful light the long-closed sash conveyed. The crawling worms that turns a summer fly here spun his shroud and laid him up to die the winter death upon the bed of sate. The bat shrill shrieking wooed his flickering mate. To empty rooms the curious came no more. From empty cellars turned the angry poor, and surly beggars cursed the ever-bolted door. <laughs>